The Titans have begun their roster cutdown process. They've waived nine players. We'll break them down, although nothing overly surprising. Tight end Steven Stilianos, wide receiver Sam Schnee, Treshawn Harrison, by the way, waived slash injured, meaning he'll go to IR with an injury if he clears waivers. Tends to keep him there, stash him for next year, or work out an injury settlement and then let him be a free agent again. Brian Dooley, a reserve offensive lineman. Jojo Doman getting the exact same treatment at linebacker, uh, waived injured. Thomas Rush, maybe a practice squad candidate on the edge. Mikel Jones had a very brief cup of coffee and now has been cut quickly by Tennessee after they had other injuries that prevented them from having enough bodies for the final preseason game. Tay Gowan, a former draft pick, not by Tennessee, but by others, uh, Eagles and Cardinals previously, he gets cut. And back a punter, Ty Zentner, which also wasn't a surprise. The tough decisions come in the next 24 hours. Titans roster cuts are due 4 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. That is the roster cut down deadline. We'll have the initial 53-man roster breakdown for you, so make sure you guys are subscribed. So we had actually finished filming our video that had involved Malik Willis as a possible trade candidate, and then he gets traded uh, literally 30 seconds after we hit end filming there. The Titans are trading Willis to the Green Bay Packers. We'll break down that trade in details here momentarily. A seventh-round pick in 2025. I thought there was A, a possibility Tennessee carried three quarterbacks this year, or that somebody offered something for Willis after a pretty improvement-filled preseason. They took the trade option instead. So the quarterback room, barring Tennessee adding somebody else to the roster, we'll see if that happens. Maybe, maybe not. It's Will Levis, Mason Rudolph. Remember, last year, Brian Callahan's Bengals only carried two QBs until Joe Burrow got hurt. Uh, even with the emergency third quarterback rule. Tennessee gives up on Willis after, I think, his best preseason. He is the best backup QB on the Packers roster. Sean Clifford and Michael Pratt are bad. They're, they're not good players at all. Tennessee gets pick 205, 220, whatever it ends up being, uh, a seventh-round pick in exchange for Willis. They'll save some cap space as well. I thought there was a chance they chose to keep Willis. I would not have been mad about that. I thought he had boosted his stock. He was better in the preseason. The expectations had changed. He was never going to be a starter in, in Tennessee and probably the NFL. But I thought he could handle the, the third-string QB role. He can definitely handle the second-string QB role in Green Bay because the competition is really, really bad. Sean Clifford, uh, who went to my high school, I know this. I say this with all due respect. He was not an NFL caliber player. He should never been drafted. He was not good. Willis has the athletic ability to still intrigue folks. I have no complaints about the trade for Tennessee because you're focused on Will Levis, after all. And he was going to be QB3 behind Mason Rudolph. So grade the trade. Malik Willis to the Packers, and we'll get back into the rest of today's trade rumors. A, B, C, D, or F at the pin comments of today's show. Other trade rumors out there from ESPN's Bill Barnwell. He listed Caleb Farley as a trade candidate for the Titans before roster cuts, which I was somewhat surprised by. Eh, a little bit. Uh, Farley has had the worst luck maybe in, in human history, if not ever. Been unable to stay healthy. Has had all the really unfortunate personal life stuff that I know has been really challenging on, be hard on any person, but obviously it's been hard on Farley as well. He's fighting for a spot. Um, Cheetah Bay Wouzier, Legeria Sneed, Roger McCreer, I think Jarvis Brownlee going to make this team. They like what they've seen from Trey Avery, Gabe, Judy, Lolly, and Caleb Farley. They're not going to carry you know, seven corners. I'd be pretty surprised if that happened. Now, of note, and kind of confusingly so, ESPN's latest roster projection had Farley going to injured reserve, even though he played in the preseason finale and kind of get the vibe that maybe that was submitted before the preseason finale, and that's why he was on there even though he played. The way the contract is set up, they don't save any money. Uh, I think they keep him because I don't know if anyone wants to trade an asset for a guy that's kind of in the last year of his deal and just hasn't been able, unfortunately, to stay healthy. Now, today's show is made pass possible by our good friends over at Factor. It is football season. My wife works full-time. We have a three-year-old daughter. We don't have the time to cook every night. We might try to, but we just don't have the time. That's why we love Factor meals. Helps us meet our Wellness goes with Factor's no prep, no mess meals. They've got chef crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, good for the dad bod, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved 
and ready to eat in just two minutes. No matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious and great tasting meals. They're ready in two minutes, and there's no shopping, no prepping, no cooking, no cleanup time, saving you a ton of time. Head to factormeals.com slash titanschat50 and use code titanschat50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code titanschat50 at factormeals.com slash titanschat50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. That link and promo code will be in the comment section and the description, by the way, of today's video. Bill Barnwell also mentioning Traylon Burks as a trade candidate for Tennessee. Seems like we've heard this story before from Bill Barnwell. Got the money right this time of what would be potentially owed. Now, this conversation does come on the heels of a player from Burks' draft class getting traded. That was Jahan Dotson, who had been drafted a few spots before Burks. I was surprised that happened. Um, also probably didn't, especially this past year, he was really struggling in Washington kind of falling down the depth chart, but was more productive than Burks had been over the course of his first two years. That trade was a third and two seventh rounders going to Washington to Philadelphia getting Jahan Dotson and a fifth round pick. I think that sets the absolute ceiling of what you're going to get back in a Burks trade. I think it's probably closer to a fifth round pick if you wanted to trade him. And maybe you do. Look, they've already begun their cuts, obviously. Calvin Ridley's on this team. DeAndre Hopkins, I think, will be healthy for week one, but we shall see. Tyler Boyd. If Nick westbrook is your four, that's fine. You also don't want him to be your number two on the outside. That's a bad idea. If Burks isn't healthy, or if, if, if or sorry, Burks is gone, Hopkins isn't healthy. I like Jaquan Jackson. I think Kyle Phillips is a slot. I don't think Oliver and Kinsey are going to make this team. I would be more inclined to keep trailing Burks. Give me extra playmakers at wide receiver. I'm not going to get a premium pick back. Uh, if you are just like, I'm done, I'm done, okay, take your mid to late day three selection. I think the potential upside that still exists somewhere and the just depth if someone goes down with an injury makes it worthwhile to keep Traylon Burks. Even if he might not be active every game day. That's between him and NWI, I think. So would you trade away Burks? Be honest with me, folks. Why for yes and for no in the comment section of today's show. Another trade here is involving Ernest Jones IV. The Rams' captain and best linebacker has been granted permission to seek a trade despite the fact he did not request it. Uh, apparently, he wanted money, wanted to get paid. Rams and Jones weren't that close. And somewhere it was, you know what, Ernest? Go see if you can find a trade, which he wasn't at practice today. That's not – that's your best linebacker. That's sure what the Rams are doing. Tennessee, though, was linked to Ernest Jones as a potential destination. USA Today had five fits for him, the Green Bay Packers. The Atlanta Falcons it's really stand out as a fit, uh, given that Raheem Morris is there. The Bucks, the Eagles, and the Titans at number five. Jones has been a good football player. Got better each and every single season. Uh, had, I think has shown really impressive growth uh, over the time of, uh, in his NFL career. He's a decent blitzer. He showcases, you know, splash play abilities. I, I, I think there's a lot to like with Ernest Jones. That the Rams don't want to pay him makes me wonder how much he's asking for. I think inside linebacker could be a need. You also drafted Cedric Gray in the third round. Now he's been banged up, which is unfortunate. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to wait and see. You know, when he's healthy, he could be an IR to start candidate season. Uh, Garrett Wallow's already on IR. Chance Campbell, by the way, sorry, fourth round for Cedric Gray. By the way, he was early fourth, fourth round pick. My bad. But Chance Campbell tore his ACL. So you're kind of thin at linebacker. But do you want to trade, let's say, a third or a fourth for Tennessee specifically, given their draft capital, and pay him big money? I have my doubts. You can see a trade, though, overall. It is trading season. Will the Titans make a trade before roster cuts? One for yes, zero for no. Sound off in the comments section. Stick with the injured linebacker room. Do not be surprised if Cedric Gray begins the year on IR. It's a nerve issue in his shoulder. Red flag alert. I don't like hearing that. Um, ESPN projected that one. I think it makes sense. The NFL rules have changed. You can put two players on IR on roster cut down day and not have to do the whole, we're going to cut a veteran, keep the injured guy on our roster for a day, then put them on IR, and then bring back Richard. They're going to cut out that, that kind of stupid roster gymnastics stuff. 
You get two players. Certainly seems like Cedric Gray could be one of them. We'll see for sure tomorrow. So make sure you guys are subscribed. YouTube.com slash Titans today for free Titans videos, including that 53-man roster once we get it Tuesday afternoon.